Hello everyone, it is Adam. Welcome back to Scott's TCG. Boy, I am tired recording this late at night, but I'm wanting to get this opened. It is the Aegis of the Machine starter deck from Battle Spirit Saga. This is the third starter deck focused on white mechs. Very cool. Hopefully you've seen the past two videos. If not, go check them out, you you sly dog, you. Um, you don't have to. But uh, if you're here because you like white machines, then cool. This is what won the London event. Not the star deck, but like the white stall mechanic. Um, I played against it quite a few times and I despise it. Uh, it's just not fun to sit there and pass repeatedly or try to win when your opponent just sits there and does nothing. Not fun. This is the elk. This is the elk that fucked my life up. Um, but... It is what it is, is it not? Someone's got to win at the end of the day. And if it's not going to be me, which it's not going to be, might as well be something. So we've got the white deck. Yes. Let us start the unboxing experience. Uh, let's get this cracked open. How do I open this? Oh, yes. Got a little pull tab here. Oh, that's opened right away. Elk Supremacy. It's funny because in the Discord, the Battle Spirits Discord before launch, we were memeing on this deck. Um, and then it went around and won. So you've got Divine Moon Sky Beast Fanatic Elk or Fanatec Elk, I don't know. Um, one, you know, it's the X Rare of the set. When this spirit blocks, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's destruction effects or as a result of battle. It is basically immortal to everything except for uh, BP removal. It also cannot have its cores removed by your opponent's effects, only your own effects. So unless you can reduce its BP, uh, this is a, a dangerous card because it cannot die to anything. It can just block away. It's pretty good. Um, and end of your opponent's turn, if it is level 3 or higher, if you did not lose a life this turn, you take, place one core from your opponent's life and put it into their trash, which is pretty strong. Um, you just block, just leave your guys on the field, block away, and if you didn't take um, any damage, your opponent loses a life, um, which is pretty... Pretty, pretty, pretty disgusting, if you ask me. Pretty, pretty ripe for the uh, abuse, which it kind of did, but that's the breaks. So, of course, we get two extras. We then get three copies of Grey Garmor, a machine beast with armor red and white. Armor is a keyword, meaning the spirit cannot be selected by the effects of your opponent's spirits, nexuses, or magic of the specified colors. So, red and white. Uh, magics and effects cannot affect this card. Yellow and purple still can. And when this spirit blocks, it gains 3k battle power. So we get three of these. This guy. We've got Mechatrice Machine Beast. When summoned, look at the top two cards of your deck. And you can return any number of them to the bottom of your deck in any order. And return the remaining cards to the top of your deck in any order. So it is a stacking deck mechanic. So you can get what you want and bin the rest. Or put the rest to the bottom. And when it blocks you can bounce a 2 cost or fewer to your opponent's hand. Very good against 2 drop rush. Which is what I was playing. Great fun. You get 1, 2, 3 mecha tricks. You've got Mecha Wing Duck. Look at that. Look at that happy fellow. Look at that in that thrilled gentleman in a waistcoat. What a, what a classy fellow. You've got Mecha Wing Duck. During your opponent's tax step, when you're one of your opponent's spirits returns their, to their hand or deck, place a core from the void onto this spirit. So basically, if you start bouncing things um, uh, or put things to the bottom of the deck, this starts gaining cores. For you then to use, it costs one. Sorry, I've not been seeing the costs for this, um, but you've been able to see them. It costs one with one reduction, meaning it can be free if you want it to, if you've got the stuff out for it. Three copies of Mecha Wing Duck. You've got Hollow Beast Glass Bear. When the spirit blocks, place a core from the void onto the spirit if there is a soul core on it. So if it's got the soul core, you know, it gets the. Um, what is it? It looks kind of funky. Um, it gets to ramp cores again it costs three or two with full reduction you get one two three three of these guys you've got your vanilla you know 
Four cost, but one with full reduction. Mobile Golem. Nothing to be said about this guy. He's just beefy. Again, another vanilla. Five cost or three with full reduction. Again, level one is 5k. So it's a, just a big beefy blocker, basically, that you can get out. Three copies of this guy. You've got Buffalong Bill, which is just... Look at this cat. Look at this cat. Oh, he's a funny guy. Uh, when this spirit blocks, you can bounce a five cost or less to your opponent's hand during your attack step. Uh, all of your spirits, when this spirit blocks effects, also activate when attacking. So you can attack with Buffalong Bill and then trigger it when this spirit blocks effects to bounce something, which is quite cool. You get three copies of Bill. We've got another vanilla, three cost or one with reductions, three Sea Beast Dugong. We've got Ice Beast Bridget. Uh, when it is destroyed, she is an Ice Princess. Uh, she costs five or three with reductions. When destroyed, if she's got a Soul Core on her, select one of your opponent's spirits and return it to their hand. And that's not got a cost um, on it, so it can be anything. And when it blocks, select one of your opponent's spirits and it cannot refresh during the next refresh step, which is unsuspending, basically. Four copies of Bridget. We've got Frost Tree Goddess Ear. An Ice Princess, when summoned, select one of your spirits with when the spirit blocks effects and place a core from the void onto it, three copies of her. Um, again, she costs three or two with reductions. We've got our first Nexus, Spring of Norn. During your opponent's attack step, at the start of this step, select one of your spirits with no effects, so basically a vanilla, and refresh it. Meaning if you've attacked with a vanilla, you can then use Spring of Norn to refresh it so it's able to block. And during your opponent's attack step, refresh all of your spirits with no effects listed. So, same effect as before, but if you've got two cores on this thing, it's all your vanillas, which is quite cool. Three copies of this. We've got Heaven Piercing Castle. Um, when your opponent, uh, another nexus, when your opponent draws outside of their draw step, you may pair Soul Core to draw a card. And during your attack step, when a spirit with when this spirit blocks effect attacks, you can place up from up to two cores from your trash onto it. So it just lets you maintain damage and um, cores, basically, which is quite cool. Three copies of this guy. Costs four or two with reductions to get out. We've got our first magics. We've got Holy Elixir. Burst. Uh, the burst effect is when this... When your opponent resolves a spirit's when summoned effect, place two cores from the void into your trash, and then you can activate its flash effect, which is select two of your spirits and refresh them. Spirits refreshed by this effect cannot attack during this turn. So it's basically just a, you play it um, and you block. Uh, you get blockers, basically, on your opponent's turn. Four copies of this. Dream Bomb. When you lose a life... Um, you can bounce a nexus to their hand and then flash is bounce a spirit to their hand. Very good. Five cost or three with reductions. And finally, you've got protection aura, uh, just a flash magic. Four cost or two with reductions. If it is your opponent's turn, all of your spirits gain 3k DP. This is a f uh, and it does have a main effect because you might be able to activate it at some point other than that. But just, yeah, it's good flash. And that's going to do it for the Aegis of the Machine deck, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to put this together with, a, uh, with my other copy, Rattle, 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 um, and take it along to some um, friends to see if they like the deck. No doubt someone will enjoy Stall, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. But yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. We've got one more video coming, which is the Forbidden Magic Yellow starter deck. Um, that'll be a slightly different video, but you'll see it then. Uh, I hope you have a good time, a good evening, good day, whatever you do. Drink plenty of water. Do all that YouTube stuff. If you can, leave a comment or leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye for now.